Hey guys, my name is Sarah Kostrava and I'm with the Style Garage. Today we are working with my beautiful model, Annie. And what we're going to do with Annie is I'm gonna teach you properly how to apply product before you do some directional drying or some blow drying in your home. And we do want to make sure she maintains enough volume at her scalp and her root. And then through her ends, we have to make sure that she maintains moisture. She is a blonde, so they tend to lack a little bit of moisture in their hair. First off, you wanna make sure before you put any product in your hair that you really go through and towel dry your hair really, really well. What that will do, it'll help distribute the product evenly and you won't be wasting your product as it's dripping off. Plus, you know, when you blow dry, you don't want a lot of moisture in the hair because it's just more drying time than more heat on the hair. All right. All right, I'm gonna start with just staying alive. It's a leave-in treatment. It helps with strength, helps with moisture. And again, because she is a blonde, we do need to add some strength to her hair. We do flat iron, we curl her hair, we round brush, we can do a bunch of different things with her hair. And when you're applying this product, you can see how I'm kind of lifting the hair up and then I'm just spraying gently. Nothing wants to be sprayed close. Make sure it's all about eight to 12 inches away. And you just wanna make sure it's getting a nice, even spray throughout the hair. Now this product is a leave-in conditioner type, but it is so light that if you get a little bit on the root, it's not really gonna hurt anything. And you'll feel that in there too, you know, it really has a lot of moisture to it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the anti-gravity spray. And how you apply any root lifters, anti-gravity sprays, anything where you want maximum lift at the root, you wanna make sure that you're dividing the hair and you're spraying on the root. And you can hit the mid shaft a little bit, but make sure that you're really getting into the root, into, into the mid shaft area. Now this anti-gravity spray can be used from root to end, but with Annie, I like to use it just at her root and her, at her base. Now what's good with this is it does have moisture molecules in it as well, but it also does a lot of volume, gives a lot of volume and lift and hold. This is really good for second and third day hair. If you don't use a root lifter at home, I would highly recommend it. It helps with cutting that grease so the second day you don't feel like you're real greasy at the scalp. I'm gonna take the Young Again Infused Treatment Oil. I'm gonna use about a dime size for her length. Rub that through your fingers, make sure you get it really even. And then you're just from your mid shaft to ends, you're coming out with this. This doesn't belong at your roots, it is an oil. Any type of smoothing creams or treatments, things like that, you really don't wanna put them at your roots. Again, that will weigh your hair down, especially Annie's, because hers, hers is very fine. So this is um, giving it a lot of moisture through the ends. So as you can see, I'm just marking mid shaft to ends. I'm not doing anything at the root area. Now what's really important guys, is to make sure that you take your comb, comb this product all the way through. What's this doing is it's taking our root lifter, our anti-gravity spray, and it's pulling it through to the infused oil and then making sure that everything is distributed equally from root all the way to the end. Now Annie does work with a bang, so we're gonna head and go ahead and part this bang off. We're just kind of getting her ready for her directional drying, and that's basically going to be your product application. Now there's different products you can use, but for Annie, this is what we're using today. So, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.